Montanea is being called. Jai Reyes will be sent back into the ball game. We all know why. It will all boil down to this one. And Second. you've got a small inbounder in Mac Escalona going up wow. against a six foot five Chester wow. Taylor. Normally you have a big inbounder. Normally in situations like these you have a tall inbounder to make sure he gets the pass over the defender. Here we go, folks. Ateneo with one last play. They go to Doug Kramer underneath. Oh, wow. what a play. Oh my what a play for Ateneo. What a play by Coach Norman Black. I cannot believe how this turned out. What a finish. Oh, my Lord, TJ. This was an but amazing they, turn of events. Did the refs count it right away or do they have to check it? We'll see. Normally they check it. We'll on the see. Meter. And Maki Escalona, who has struggled awesome all throughout the game, struggled with this assist, found the open Doug Kramer. Let's look at the time. One second. And oh, it's good. It's good. By far. By and, far. And again, how many times has Doug Kramer shot a crucial jumper or undergoal staff for Ateneo at the end of the game? Wow. What a shocking Unbelievable. turn of events. Unbelievable. This is college basketball at its finest. And Ateneo goes 1-0. What a play by Coach Sermon Black. You've got to credit that oh, play. Yes. Number one, the gamble of putting a small Maki Escalona, but arguably his best passer on the team to make that difficult pass. This you, is You will see the young team that they are. They just did not execute defensively and they didn't communicate on that screen that Doug Kramer went down to give the screen. I'm sure she's not the only one in tears right now. This is an incredible finish to game number one and we'll be